It looks like he's getting ready to air it out. Those are all deep routes. There's the drag. Second and 11. That drag was user, and he threw it into coverage. And it's oh, picked tip off. Drill. Tip drill. What's going on, everybody? Day two of the Madden 18 Club Championship is in the books. And in my opinion, it was two fantastic days for competitive Madden, both the NFC and AFC sides. A bunch of great games and a good amount of upsets as well. And it was just a lot of fun to watch as a viewer. But for this particular video, I want to go to the Joke vs. Deliverance matchup, and I want you guys to focus on a very small adjustment that Joke makes running this nickel 335 Tampa 2. And I just thought it was brilliant. Like I said, very, very simple, but very key. So right here, Deliverance in that gun trips tight end offset formation, he was running this formation the entire game, ran a lot of read option and another play called X under, where he was just attacking different parts of the field. But what you're going to see post snap is Joke adjusting to knowing where his opponent can attack on the field and Joke's knowledge of knowing what routes his opponent has access to. So what you're going to see, like I talked about, that nickel 335 Tampa 2, you see the five-man rush, the cloud flats on the outside, the deep half on the left, Joke usering underneath. But the main guy I want you guys to focus on is the strong safety. So now the strong safety, as you can see, is drifting into the middle of the field. That doesn't look like a deep half on the right side because it's not. Joke adjusted and put him in a middle third. Now, you might ask, why did Joke put him in a middle third? Because Joke knows out of this gun trips tight end offset formation, there is no route or receiver that's in position to attack this deep right side of the field. Now, the only and the closest player that could possibly do that is that tight end who's running this corner out. And Joke's not really concerned about that. The other option would be either Deliverance would need to motion receiver over from left to right and in which case joke would most likely go back to the deep half i would assume or deliverance did have a running back in the backfield he could wheel him out but that's a very long and deliberate route very long developing joke playing that aggressive 335 tampa two style defense usually you don't get enough time in the pocket as the quarterback to let a route like that develop so joke knows i don't have to worry about that area of the field really so i'm going to put my deep half strong safety on the right side of the field into a middle third to just roll my coverage towards the strength of the formation now in this case deliverance actually goes with the corner out on the right side and you can see you know maybe there's a little room right there for him to try and lob that ball down the field you know uh, he's behind the cloud flat so maybe he could go with a lob pass downfield ahead of the cloud flat and try and get behind him but Joke knows, okay, that's a cornerback out there, most likely 91 zone, so he's going to be breaking on the ball very quickly, and he'll probably be able to make up a lot of the ground because it is a cornerback against a tight end. He'll probably be able to recover in time. Also, you have to keep in mind that this middle third strong safety right here is 94 overall Brian Dawkins. So another 91 zone, along with the fact that it kind of plays off the cloud flat in the sense that Deliverance, in order to throw that route, needs to throw it downfield and needs to lob it. And both of those factors just give Dawkins even more time to break on the ball. He's going to break as soon as Deliverance throws it. And he's going to be able to make up a lot of time, or a lot of ground rather, because of the fact the ball is going to spend a lot of time in the air because he has to lob it. But in this case, Deliverance doesn't go with that. You see Joke underneath using the drag route. And Deliverance actually went with a route combo that attacks Tampa 2 very well, generally. He went with an outside fade route down the sideline and then an inside streak. So usually this type of route combo is going to put a lot of stress on that middle or not the middle safety, but the free safety on the left side, the deep half on the left side, because he has to choose either I need to widen out to guard the X fade route down the sideline or I need to stay skinny to try and attack this or try and jump, you know, if the quarterback were to throw the seam route. But in this case, because of the fact that Joke went with the middle third, now that seam route isn't available. He can't throw that B streak going down the left hash mark like we talked about. Joke underneath usering the drag knows where he needs to be. That deliverance throwing that corner out would be a very tight window. So what deliverance ends up doing is he tries to squeeze in the fade route down the left sideline between the little bubble uh, between the cornerback and the, sh the free safety on that Tampa 2. What you're going to see, it's a very tight window, double covered. There's very, very little. There was a very, very little chance that Deliverance was actually going to catch this ball. Uh, but the ball ends up getting tipped around, and Dawkins, the guy in the middle third, ends up coming over with the tip drill and catches it. So not only did the middle third take away the inside seam route, that would have been a great play call against Tampa 2 because normally he would be 
much wider, especially in this particular play. Uh, that safety in that deep half probably would have been focused on the tight end running the corner route, and that would have opened up that middle of the field for deliverance. So not only did he take away the seam route over the middle, but because he was in the middle third, he was in a position that was able to make up enough ground and get over to the play because the ball got tipped around and make an interception that he wouldn't have been able to do had he been in a deep half on the right side of the field. So just a very, very small adjustment, but I think it's very key in high level players to just know your opponent's formational tendencies and having the knowledge of where your opponent can logically attack your defense based on the routes that they have out of that formation and just make those small adjustments, you know, a deep half to a middle third because you know that your opponent can't attack down the right sideline. And I just thought this was a fantastic example of that from a very high level player in joke. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed as always. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, guys, take it easy.